All right, so we're ramping up for the Super Chevy uh, Muscle Car Challenge presented by Falcon Tires, and I'm here with Dave and Ken, and we got a Camaro behind us. Tell me a little bit about it. It's a uh, 69 Camaro that I kind of fell upon with a close friend of mine. It used to be a drag car, and I wanted a outrageous pro touring car sure. that I was looking for, so I bought it. And, uh, over the last three years, it's had three motors, two complete overhauls of the suspension to get to where I guess my idea of a more of a Trans Am car, throwback from the sure. Trans Am series from 69 to 70. So what kind of power are we pushing now with a third engine? 950 horsepower with the motor, uh, about 1300 with nitrous. <laughs> so a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll get you down the road. Yeah, sure. Um, let's talk a little bit about the front suspension. Uh, front suspension is all Speedway Motors G-Comp suspension. It's a Nuncer edition one, so adjustable ride height, sway bars are adjustable. Uh, Pro four-way adjustable shocks. There's a lot, a lot of adjustability in the front end of the car. Mm -hmm. and it's fr fairly heavy duty. I built it to do road courses, uh, standing miles, autocross, drag racing. It's kind of everything. Yeah. yeah. It's not really good in anything, but it's a lot of fun at a lot of yeah. things. Well, as we work our way back to the uh, rear of the car, I noticed the engine's pushed back quite, quite a bit. How much? 14 inches. 14 inches. So that's, yeah. that's in the cockpit a bit. Uh, a little bit. It's yeah. not... Not as noticeable, we did a lot of work on the interior to sure. make it comfortable. Cool. Um, so. Rear suspension, can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, Speedway Motors, G-Comp, Unser Edition, rear suspension also. Uh, it's a truck arm suspension. Watts Link locates the rear end. Uh, we have it so it's adjustable anti-squat on mm -hmm. the rear end. Uh, brake floaters on the rear end also to control wheel hop. Uh, adjustable sway bar again. A lot of, lot of adjustability in a lot of areas. Very cool. And Ken, you're the driver of the car. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yes, you are lucky. Um, what are you looking forward to this year as far as the challenge goes and the events? Well, you know, last year I competed with our second gen Camaro and that was bringing a knife to a gunfight. This year we're able to bring a nuclear bomb to the gunfight. Yeah. <laughs> now I, I'm pretty excited about it because uh, Dave asked me what's the most powerful car I've ever driven and I pointed at his car and said this one. Um, we were able to test this car at Hastings, Nebraska a few weeks ago. Just, it wasn't, I, we call it testing, it was called practice for Ken. Because I wanted to get used to the car sure. and drive the car. And it's just an incredibly powerful car. And it's just really exciting to be able to drive it. I, I, I can imagine it could be a little intimidating, you know, going through the gears down a long straightaway. Yeah, with all, you know, this thing has so much torque and so much horsepower. And it still has the Texas Miles Sand Hills gearing in it. So it was second and third gear all the way around the track. It's just <laughs> got such a broad power van and it'll blow the tires off the rear if you're not careful. Sure. So it really takes a lot of uh, a getting used Finesse. to Finesse. Yeah. Finesse. Very cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it out at the track. Um, we'll get this thing off the lift and get it out there. Let's go.